Winter weather can be one of the most difficult weather events meteorologists have to face. It's not because we don't understand how winter weather works, but it all comes down to the shape of each snowflake. Most of us have heard the saying, there are no two snowflakes alike. That statement holds some truth. It also is why meteorologists have such a difficult time predicting snow accumulation amounts. You see, there are four different types of snow crystals. They come in the form of plates, columns, needles, and the typical snowflake shape called a dendrite. When dendrites start to accumulate, their barbs tend to stick together, allowing air to be trapped between the snowflakes as the snow accumulates. This can sometimes give us greater snow accumulations. On the other side, needles, plates, and columns don't have barbs that stick together. This allows the snow crystals to compact closer together, sometimes giving lesser snow accumulation amounts than that of dendrites. This is one major variable that makes it so difficult for meteorologists because we have to predict which atmospheric conditions will form which type of snow crystals. On top of the different snowflake shapes, the ground temperature also plays a big role in how much actually piles up on the ground. If it's warmer than 32 degrees, then the snow is likely to melt before the temperature drops on the ground surface. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Josh Kozar.